Hey y'all, it's me Zuzu and I'm here to help you save money. Back in 2016, I bought my first house. In order to buy a house, you need to put 3.5% down plus your state tax and it gives you your closing costs. Now, I had seller's assist, so I got lucky, and the house I bought was $75,000. By the time it was all said and done, I only put about $6,000 to $6,500 into my house to buy it. A year and a half before I bought my house, I didn't have much in my savings. I had to figure out, damn, how am I going to save money so I can purchase a house? I assessed my finances and what I make average on a low end and figured out how much I could sacrifice per month for that year. I was able to put away $500 a month in a year and I saved $6,000. Now I already had a little cushion before that, but I wasn't saving that much. So me cracking down helped me a lot. Now if you're ready to save money to invest in something in the future or just to save money in general for Christmas, vacations, and so forth, I'm here to help you. It'll only cost you a couple dollars or it could be found in your house already currently, these items. You need a manila folder or just a regular folder in general, pen or pencil, envelopes, a safe box. Now remember your code because I don't remember mine, so I'm going to probably have to buy a new one because I can't remember mine. Thankfully, there's nothing in there. You also need a notebook. Any size is fine, but the smaller, the better. What you're going to do is add all your bills together, rent, car insurance, credit cards, cell phones, school loans if you have, um, any little bill. Figure out how much you spend on average for food shopping and gas. You're going to take an envelope and you're going to write gas. You're going to take another envelope, you're going to write food. Let's say you get paid today and then you get paid in two weeks, but half your bills are due by the next paycheck. Pay those half of the bills. Let's say you got a thousand. Your bills are 500 until your next paycheck. There's 500 left. You're going to say 100 for gas, 100 for food, for example. That leaves you with 300. Automatically, you're going to take half of that 300, 150, and put it in a different envelope and put as saving. The other 150, you're going to put in another envelope and call that emergency. Let's say the next check, your bills are more than normal. Let's say there's 600. From that emergency money, you're gonna keep that there. So let's say from that 600, you put the 600 and then 100 for food, 100 for gas, that means you have 200 left. From that 200, you're gonna take 100 and put it into the savings. The other 100, you're gonna put an emergency. This emergency is for, let's say you have a birthday or something that you need to get a gift, you use from the emergency money. Now let's say from that emergency money, you now have 250 in there. You use 50, there's 200 left. At the end of that month, before the next check, out of that 200, take 100 and put it back into the savings. So now in your savings, you have 350 and 100 left in emergency. And you're going to keep doing this. You want to keep all this stuff in your safe. If you keep averaging that 350 a month for the year, that saves you $4,200. Even if you put 100, away every month. That's $1,200 at the end of the year. The emergency money will make you have more, but that emergency money is in case also a car problem or something that needs to be paid or a bill came higher than normal. You can use from that. The saving money you do not want to touch at all in case it's absolutely necessary. But I have other tricks on ways to save money if you're not making that much or you're making less than usual to be able to save anything at all or little to nothing. This requires you to kind of coupon a little bit and use your local store's um, coup digital coupon advantages and magazines. I'm not an extreme couponer, but I can help you with certain things. But like I said, I have other ways of saving money too. So make sure you follow me so that way I can help you become financially independent.